Queen Victoria and Prince Albert's second son, Alfred, almost became the victim of an assassination plot during a round-the-world voyage as the Queen's representative. Alfred arrived in Sydney in 1868, becoming the first member of the British royal family to visit Australia and becoming the target of the country's first ever political assassination attempt on the 12th of March 1868, when the Irishman Henry James O'Farrell shot and wounded the prince at an official picnic. As Prince Alfred and one of the event's patrons, Sir William Manning, left the event to go on a walk, O'Farrell pushed his way through the crowds and shot the prince in the back with a double-barreled pistol. Fortunately, the wound wasn't life-threatening. Alfred made a speedy recovery and amid the subsequent outpour of anti-Catholic sentiment, O'Farrell was convicted of attempted murder. Despite exhibiting signs of mental instability and the prince's personal request for the assailant to be treated with leniency, O'Farrell was hanged on the 21st of April in Darlinghurst Jail. The incident triggered huge public support for the prince and as a result of mass donations, Sydney's Royal Prince Alfred Hospital was established and is still in use today.